Let's have some beer. What be going down, people of the world? Thank you so much for joining me for yet another Daily Drink vlog. My name is Redbeard, and today we have got a bottle of the Tom Green Summer Stout by Bose. Oh yes, go to bose.ca and you can actually not find out anything about this beer. <laughs> On the main page, they have the old Tom Green beer. This is the Summer Stout. It's a blonde milk stout. I, I don't know what to expect from this at all. Let's crack her open with the right side of the bottle opener. I'm bad for that. And let's see what we have got. Yeah, see that, that, that doesn't look like a stout. What, what's happening? I'm confused. This is, this is a weird beer. Weird beer, weird Bose beer. Let's get a picture of the weird Bose beer. Bose bow beer barrel beer blah blah. Crystal clear. Little tiny bit of chill haze on the glass, but that didn't look like a stout. It kind of smells like a stout though. Like chocolatey, malty, mocha kind of roasty aromas. Okay. Let's give her a shot. It, it tastes like a stout. It's a clear stout. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. Mm. the coffee presence in there is really nice. Let me maybe get the rest of that in there now. Possibly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No problem. Ingredients are local spring water, organic barley malts, organic oats, organic lactose, Organic fair trade coffee, organic cacao nibs, organic hops, and brewer's yeast. And this will keep for about four months, apparently, and this was brewed on the 26th of May. That is a fresh beer. 5% alcohol. And it really does look like the same as the other Tom Green beer, just he's wearing sunglasses now and a Hawaiian shirt. I like it. That's kind of cool. And of course I got the cool little tag that we'll read in a moment. Also has the sexy Tom Green. That's right, I said it. Tom Green's a sexy man. Wasn't able to find any ratings on this again. Just like the uh, Red Racer beer of yesterday. It's brand new. Although actually, the first hit that came up when I searched is everything about this on the Bose website that apparently you can't find over here. Oh, there it is way down there. Okay. Fair enough. I didn't scroll down enough. Coffee and cacao provide aroma. The mocha flavor notes are supplemented by subtle berry nuances. The finish is mildly sweet and lingering. Okay. It's just, it's, un it's unusual as hell. It's really good, but it doesn't make sense to me. We got the history and style over here. A blonde stout, also known as a golden stout, achieves an almost magical juxtaposition of appearance and experience by infusing a brilliant, clear golden ale with stout-like aromas and flavors of coffee and cacao. A mild sweetness is contributed by the lactose that gives milk stout its signature character. It's good. It's just really unusual. Uh, I'm pretty sure that... No, actually, this is different. But not much. Weird. Everything they have written is different everywhere. It's 
kind of cool, but... It says, the Tom Green Beer Milk Stout is going blonde for the summer. Tom Green Summer Stout is made with organic fair trade coffee and cacao nibs for roasty and rich accents in a sun-kissed blonde edition of our award-winning Milk Stout. I don't know if Tom Green actually like had anything to do with the making of the beer or if they just like made the beer and they're like, hey, Tom Green, you want to have a beer named after you? I'm pretty sure I saw a, there's like a Facebook ad or something like that by Bose with Tom Green for this beer. It's kind of cool. Check it out. That's just really tasty and really confusing to my brain. It does not look like it should have the flavors that it actually has. Very unusual. Yeah, there's not. Enjoy this sun kissed summer fun edition of our award winning milk stout. That's basically what it says there. Uh, I guess we, we the malts are listed here. I can tell you that. Pilsner, Carafoam, Acidulated, and Flaked Oats. Excuse me. Obviously all organic. The hops are Pacific Gem and Hersbrucker. German Ale Yeast is the yeast they use. Better than if they had used some kind of Belgian yeast. Not a fan of the Belgian yeast at all. It's kind of disappointing. I really wish that there was more on this beer. Wait. Seriously? I just found it on Beer Advocate. That's pretty funny. That means it must be on untapped as well. I'm gonna I'm doing it. Untapped. Tom Green Summer. Damn right. Hell yeah. Okay, here we go. Beer Advocate, not enough ratings for a full rating. And actually, there's nothing. It's there, but no one's rated it, no one's reviewed it, so it can go to hell. 53 ratings on Untapped. 3.69 out of 5. 27 IBUs, apparently. I would have given it like 12. Maybe. Another one you haven't had, Day Gets Better. Yeah, that's a review. No one's saying anything. Someone said something in French that I can't read. Someone else said something in French. Three people said stuff in French. I could copy into Google Translate and find out what they said. No. I'm kind of wondering now if I search for rate beer. Yeah, there it is. And it, oh, it has a couple ratings here. One, one review, 2.8. Pours golden with a small white head, aroma is nutty. Taste is slightly sweet and slightly sour. This guy's on crack. There's no sour anywhere in that flavor. There are notes of oats, mild grassy hops, maybe a hint of chocolate and coffee. There's lots of chocolate and coffee. They say it's made with ale yeast, but it definitely seems more like a lager with its crisp, dry finish. There's nothing like a lager at all. Nothing. The lid looks like a lager. That's the only thing it has in common with a lager. Medium body with low carbonation. Bose is known for creating unusual beers. But when it comes to stout, let's keep it dark. Really? Really? Well, aren't you just Mr. Cool Guy? 
I think you did a bloody amazing job with this beer, Bose. This beautiful Bose beer. Brilliant beer by Bose. Mm. Yeah, there's no sour. There's that lactosey milk stout quality to it. It's, this beer is a mystery. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, so we got nothing else here. This is all just stuff copied from the website. Yeah, nothing else to read about the beer. Nothing. <sighs> Excuse me. Even there, a mocha burp. Oh, that didn't say here. I have a user list at the bottom. Apparently I should have served it in a shaker, which is this glass, but doesn't taper. If I had a Bose shaker, then I would use a Bose shaker, but I have a Bose this glass, so I'm using this glass. That's how I roll. Um. Also how it rolls, when I drink a Bose beer, the vlog tends to be a little long. Drink them the last. Oh, it definitely kind of has that filling quality of a stout. I feel like I just ate like Thanksgiving dinner or something. Bose All Natural Brewing Company. Your Tom Green Summer Stout rating. That's a fucking 10. That, that beer's amazing. Just, like, the fact that it's blonde, and it, it tastes like a stout, and it tastes like a really good stout. Like, well done, Bose. So well done. And that's gonna do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then be sure to smash that like button if you see more of my videos, and be sure to smash that subscribe button if you've got some to me. Put some comments in the box down below. Thanks again, and I'll be back with another Daily Drink Vlog tomorrow. A peace out! Oh my god. I'm too full.